When planting the spring garden, pet owners should take several precautions to ensure that their garden is safe for dogs. First, here are some tips to keep in mind. One, choose pet friendly plants. Some plants can be toxic to dogs, so it's important to choose plants that are safe for them. Some examples of pet friendly plants include marigolds, sunflowers, and petunias, and I'll share more in just a few moments. Number two, keep pesticides and fertilizers out of reach. Chemicals used in pesticides and fertilizers can be harmful to dogs if ingested. Store these products in a secure location where your dog can't access them. Number three, consider using natural pest control methods. These are natural ways to control pests in your gardens, such as planting companion plants, using insecticidal soaps, or using beneficial insects such as ladybugs and praying mantises. Number four, provide a designated potty spot. Train your dog to use a specific area of the garden for potty breaks, away from plants and flowers. This can help prevent accidental ingestion of toxic plants or chemicals. Number five, fence off certain areas. If there are areas of the garden that you don't want your dog to access, consider fencing them off. This can help your dog have safe places to go and prevent damage to your plants. And number six, supervise your dog in the garden. Keep an eye on your dog while they're in the garden and discourage them from digging, chewing on plants, or eating anything that they shouldn't. By taking these precautions, you can create a beautiful and safe garden for both you and your furry friends to enjoy. Next, I want to share some plants that are generally safe and some plants that are known to be toxic. If you have experience with plants that you would recommend or avoid, please comment below. Some plants vary. For example, some hibiscus plants are non-toxic. However, there are a few species that could be harmful if eaten. When introducing new plants into your garden, do some research to ensure that the species of plant that you want is known to be safe or toxic to your dog or other pets. Here are some examples of outdoor plants that are safe for dogs to be around. Number one, blue-eyed grass. Number two, the Boston fern. Number three, coneflower. Number four, coreopsis. Number five, dogwood, number six, petunia, number seven, marigold, number eight, the rose, number nine, sunflower, and number 10, zinnias. And here are some examples of outdoor plants that are beautiful, but are also toxic to dogs. Number one, azaleas. All parts of the plant are toxic and can cause vomiting, diarrhea, weakness, and even coma. Number two, daffodils. Bulbs are especially toxic and can cause vomiting, diarrhea, abdominal pain, and even cardiac arrhythmias. Number three, oleander. All parts of the plant are toxic and can cause vomiting, diarrhea, heart arrhythmias, and even death. Number four, the sago palm. All parts of the plant are toxic and can cause vomiting, diarrhea, liver failure, and even death. And as beautiful as they are, tulips. The bulbs are especially toxic and can cause vomiting, diarrhea, abdominal pain, and even cardiac arrhythmias. It is important to know that this is not an exhaustive list and that some plants may have different degrees of toxicity depending on the part of the plant ingested and the amount consumed. Tulips, hyacinth, and irises are all considered toxic to both dogs and cats and can cause vomiting, diarrhea, and drooling if ingested. All parts of the plants contain toxins and can cause issues for your pets, but the toxins are most concentrated in the bulbs of the plants, making the bulb the most dangerous part. If you suspect that your dog has ingested a toxic plant, it is always best to contact your veterinarian right away. Tell us what other plants you think are toxic or safe for pets. We'd love to hear from you in the comments below.